So in this video, we're going to try to figure out how to add those tracked controllers, because right now with the camera added, all we get is the ability to move around the space and, and look about. So let's jump back into the prefabs and use that as a reference. Yes, I do understand I could just be uh, dragging, dropping this camera rig in, but then I don't really get a sense of how everything works. So now that we have this object in here, open it up, we have two objects, let's see, two groups, a controller left and a controller right, and of course we have a model associated with each of them. We need the Steam VR render model. So let's go ahead and reproduce that, and it looks like it's the camera head, which would be this object here, is under this larger group. So let's go to component, game object, create empty, and let's just call this uh, camera system for now, so it doesn't clash with camera rig. Bring that right there. Uh, grab the head, put the head under, well, first of all, let's zero this thing out, space, reset. Let's grab the head, put that under camera system. Let's create two more uh, empty game objects, and those are going to be our hands. So we'll call this, once again, controller left, just like they did over there, and controller, oops, if I can type, controller right. Is there anything differentiating these two, other than the name and the location? Nothing different between the two of these. Okay, so once again, game object, create empty, game object, oh, create empty child, we should be doing that. Click, game object, create empty child. Yeah, I guess we'll just follow the same convention, model and model. And add to these guys, so the model gets the Steam VR render model. So let's find that script, attach to there, and do the same thing again for that model. And these ones get the Steam VR tracked object. Tracked object goes there, and not test controller, tracked object goes there. Making sure this is working. Yes and yes. We do want to probably zero these out. So let's zero everything. And of course, now put these underneath our camera system. Once again, just making sure that things haven't moved. All right, so with that, we have replicated the camera rig. The only difference, though, is that the camera rig does have the Steam VR play area script attached to it, as well as, let's see, what is it? VR, Steam VR controller manager. So that's, I'm guessing that's something we're going to want to work with as well, because uh, it does take these objects into it. So let's go into camera system. And is that, that's attached to the rig itself? Yes, it is, not the head. All right, so the camera rig gets the Steam VR camera manager. Controller manager, we'll put that right there. And that gets referenced not to the models, but to the controllers themselves. This makes a lot more sense because otherwise, how would you differentiate between these two objects? Um, well, let's delete this camera rig object and just give it a shot. See what happens when we run it if the uh, controllers actually pop up. And if they do, then we're going to dive into that script and try to figure out how it works so we can use it for our own purposes. All right, controllers are active. Controllers are now in the play space. So let's grab the helmet, or the helmet, the uh, HMD, and strap this onto my head. All right, and uh, let's hit the play button, if I can see it. There it is. Backing up. I hope I don't hit anything. Playing. Okay, the uh, screen is up, and I am now in the play space. I, I'm holding these controllers. I do see control. Oh, there's one of them. There's the other one. Okay. Wow, that was uh, ridiculously easy. I am yelling now because I'm far away from the microphone, but uh, I do have both controllers, and they've got this wonderfully goldish hue from the light source. Uh, it appears the script takes care of updating the, uh, the models, adding those little buttons for the dials, and, uh, of course, also the clicky clickies on the triggers. So, wow. Incredibly impressed at how easy it has been now. Oh, there's my shadows. Look at that. Woo! Those are... Those are some low res. Ah, I'm hitting the chandelier. Okay, anyway, the next step in this is going to be, um, well, let's dissect that control that script a little bit to get a better sense of how the camera manager works, because we're going to need to tap in either we're going to need to tap into either the camera manager or some version of our own script to take this further, so that we'll be able to, um, I'm guessing, either register these trigger events, these click events. Or potentially, if it's not registering the click events, we're going to want to uh, pull the tracked objects ourselves to make decisions so we can start interacting with things. Although, already I'm thinking I'm going to need to move the, the scale of the room. 
or I'm going to need to make some other kind of change because at this moment I can't even walk to the uh, to the buttons to press them. I just don't have the space for this. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop running this and uh, try to figure out what's actually going on. Let's move on to the Steam VR tracked object. So these are all the different devices. Number one looks like it's the head mounted device and everything else I guess up to, what is that, 16? Objects technically plus the HMD, or 15 objects plus the HMD are trackable in this setting. On enable, on disable, and set device index. So I'm guessing the device index is going to be set by that other manager we had. So let's go up to the top now to the Steam VR controller manager. Now, remember we did set the left and right components here and I'm, wa I'm willing to bet by setting those, it gives them a specific number and that number, it becomes a device ID. But let's, let's try to look and see if that's what happens. Here we go. So it looks like they're talking to open VR and they are trying untrack device index invalid. They're setting those right there with Steam VR itself. So here we go. These are the ones that we're registering. So we have Steam events, listen, input focus, device connected, tracking device role change, and here's our on input focus, on device connected, and on tracker. So this, this script is hooking us up into different events that are going to occur that specifically deal with managing the controllers um, when things are out of focus, when they're connected, and if there's a, a change in the device's role, which I don't really understand at this point, but uh, What's important for us to see is that we can uh, jump into, that we can register for Steam VR utility events with our own methods here. I am kind of interested in knowing though where these names are actually stored so I know exactly what ones are available for us. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So I'm guessing I'm going to be for the most part at the moment using this VR uh, controller manager because it does set up my objects perfectly and there's no reason for me to mess with that. In the next video, I'm going to learn how to get input out of these controllers and figure out, I think they have an example uh, scene in here, how input is received, whether I'm polling for it or I can register events. And then we're going to try to get them to actually interact with the environment in some way. Thanks everyone. See you next time. Bye.